Pastor Matt, your sin is going to send you to hell. Yes. Your sin is going to send you to hell. Your sin is going to send you to hell. Your sin is going to send you to hell. The more you sin and tell a lie and get high and get laid, the more trouble your life is going to bring to you. The more trouble, the more health problems you're going to have. Hopefully before you die. Because you're going to die, you're going to meet God. Then what's going to happen? Send to hell. You think God's going to judge you by what? The Bill of Rights? The Constitution? Just because you're an American, you go to heaven? It doesn't work that way. Time to repent, Huntington Beach. How can anyone look at the ocean and say they're an atheist? How can anyone look at all this creation and say there is no God? The Bible says only a fool says there is no God. God created you. Yet in universities today, they will tell you, you came from a monkey. You didn't come from a monkey. God made you after his own image. God made you after his own likeness. There is no such thing as evolution. How can you come to Huntington Beach and say, I believe in evolution? This speaks volumes of God. God said, let there be light. God said the ocean is going to stop right there. Oh, you see his handiwork. You have no excuse not to know the God of the Bible. Problem is, your sin will put you to hell. Most people don't want to tell you about the word repent. Repent means to change your mind, change your heart, not be the same person you were before. If you were on this list, you are no longer on that list. You repented for your sin. Read the Bible, everybody, heaven or hell, when you die. The Bible says it is appointed on the man once to die, and after this, the judgment. Amen. You got one shot. No reincarnation. No. You don't get baptized when you're dead like the Mormons teach. One shot, and then it's heaven or hell when you die. No, true. Time to get serious about God. Come on, if I was giving you guys free tickets, you'd be all over us. Heaven or hell when you die. Straight is a gun. Narrow is the way that leads to everlasting life. Do! You! You! Shall find it. You! You can't live like hell and go to heaven. Prepare to meet thy maker, the God of the Bible. You can't help God save you. You are not a good person. Only God can save you. the power of man, but by the power of God, by Jesus Christ. Amen. Only Jesus saves. You can't save yourself by how many good deeds you do. He can give you life. He can take your life away even today because because your life in God's hand is not your hand. You have no control of your life. 
dare in control our lives. Today we die, tomorrow we die. It doesn't matter. God stay, you're gonna die. You're gonna meet God. It's really period. Every man appointed to die once. After that, it's God's judgment. The Bible says Hebrew is not I stay. Every man die. So please don't die without repent of your sin. Don't die without receive your Christ. Please don't go to hell. If you go to hell, you deserve to go to hell because you reject God. It's all about Jesus, you guys. All sinners, heritage to God. You need to repent and believe in God. Today is the day. It's no time. You guys are already old enough to reject God. So you, know, you have no time. Today is a repent. It's a question of old people, young people. It doesn't matter. You need to repent and believe in Christ today. Today is the day God sent me right here to tell you to don't go to hell, go to heaven, repent, and believe in the Savior who died for you. That 2,000 years ago, they gave you the life, the sacrifice for life, sinner like me and you. Amen. So please. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ today. God bless your soul. Amen. Amen. Because life is short. Any time, any moment, you can die. Because this life is not ours. God is God. Life. He gave you life. The take the life only through the Lord, the Savior, the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus, the I, Jesus, the way, the true, the life. No one come to my Father's kingdom but by me, John 14, 6, the Lord Jesus said. So please do not forget the word of God as a true young people. Jesus loves you. So please do not reject his love. If we go to hell, why? Because we reject God. You reject God's love, that's why. So please do not go to hell. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Do not go to hell. God is warning you, sinner. People can come to their senses. People can develop the fear of God. I, I think you're wrong for judging. That's what this generation needs is the fear of God. I think you're wrong for judging. Without, you need the fear of God. We all need the fear of God. The Bible says that by the fear of God, men depart from iniquity. He's gonna die. By the fear of God, you can depart from iniquity. Without the fear of God, you're casual and careless before God. You end up living a sinful life before God. You end up offending God and displeasing God. That cigarette is cutting your life short, buddy. You're going to die, old man. You're going to end up going to hell sooner. He's going to die. You want to preserve your life? You want to have more life? More time to live? Don't smoke that cigarette. It's harming your lungs. Jesus Christ can set you free. When you have the Holy Spirit, you won't want cigarettes. You won't want drugs. When you have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, you won't want to fornicate. When you have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, you won't want to commit sexual immorality. You won't want to party. He's gonna oh, die. Oh, your friends are leading you to hell. He's gonna die. Your friends are leading you to hell. Bad company corrupts good morals. You better watch who you hang around with. You better watch who your friends are. If you hang around with homosexuals, you're going to become a homosexual. If you hang around with pot smokers, you're going to become a pot smoker. If you hang around with people who curse, you're going to curse. If you hang around people who practice sin, you're going to practice sin. You're gonna be influenced by them. You better watch out who you hang around. Biden is the Antichrist. You Biden better watch Antichrist. out. Just because you vote for Trump Biden doesn't Antichrist. make you a Christian. What good is it to fight for your freedom if you end up in hell? 
What good is it to stand up for your freedom if you hang, if you end up in hell? So many people want to fight for their freedom. You're fighting for your freedom to sin. America loves its freedom to sin. Americans want to be free to sin. Why are you so passionate about your rights and your freedoms? You want to have the freedom to sin. True freedom is freedom to serve God. Amen. True freedom is freedom to worship and thank God. Amen. What good is it to fight for freedom and you're enslaved to your sin? What good is it for you to fight for freedom and you're enslaved to wickedness? Oh, Jesus Christ didn't live in a democracy. Now, I'm not against fighting for your freedom. But what good is it to live in America if you're going to end up in hell? What good is it to live in America with comfort and privileges if you're going to end up in hell? What good is it for you to live in America where you have the privilege and the freedom to do many things when you use your freedom to sin? Oh, woe to you, wicked Americans. Woe to you when you use your freedom to sin, when you use your life to sin. Jesus Christ didn't die on the cross so you can live in your sin. Jesus Christ didn't die on the cross so that you can spit on the blood of Jesus. I'm going to hell. By mocking him. I'm going to hell, you know. You're going where? I'm going to hell. And you're proud of it. God doesn't want you to go there. Um, because I am French twice, you know. <laughs> God doesn't want you to go there. If you're a man, God wants you to dress like a man. You, you gotta get woman, serious about God. Like a woman. You gotta God get serious about you. God. God can restore you. You gotta get serious about God. Hell is not a joke. God is not a joke. Your life is not a joke. Homosexuals will end up in hellfire if you do not repent. You gotta repent instead of taking your life as a joke. You gotta repent and stop laughing about your life, about hellfire. You gotta take your life seriously. God cares about you. But if you don't want to turn to God, he will throw you to the lake of fire. To serve God, to glorify the creator, Jesus Christ. You want to know what the sickest thing is too? It's a man. He, he or she has a, a little son. And I go and I rebuke them. I go, do not teach your son the disgusting habit. At least you're going to burn in hell because your son, because the Bible said, do not forsake the little one. That's what you're doing. Yeah. He's going to go straight to hell. Don't do it. At least if he's he... putting a shirt on now because before he wasn't, he's oh, you old. Saw, you yes. saw. He'll, I think he put some tits on himself, right? She's, that person's sick. Yeah. Last year, I remember, I was talking to him. I, everybody's been talking to him. And he goes, I'm going to go through. He went through an operation. Got it chopped up. That's his choice. And acknowledge the reality of God's judgment. God will judge the world in righteousness one day. God will repay the wicked for their wickedness. God will reward the righteous for their righteousness. There's coming a day of recompense. There's coming a day, the Bible calls it the great and dreadful day of the Lord. A day of great fear. A day when the hearts of men 
will fail them. A day when many people will be saying, hide us. Hide us from the wrath of the Lamb. So many people are going to want to hide from Jesus when he comes back. So many people are going to want to run and hide from Jesus when he comes back. Is that going to be you? Hiding from Jesus? Running away from Jesus? Well, guess what? There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. Each and every day that goes by is another day closer to the day of judgment. Each and every day that goes by is another day closer to the day you have your court date with God. Are you prepared to meet your maker? Are you prepared to meet your creator? It's time to prepare yourself and make straight the way for the Lord. It's time to repent. He's rich in mercy. He commands all men everywhere to repent. He's not willing that any should perish, that it all should come to repentance. Christ is the light that lights every man that comes into this world. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the home. Amen. It's time to repent, people. It's time to get right with Jesus. It's time to make peace with God. What do you have to do to go to hell? What do you got to do to go to hell? Nothing. Nothing. Just live in your sin. Just ignore God. And you're on your way to hell. You deserve hell fire. That's all you got to do to go to hell. Religion will lead you to hell. Following Jesus will lead you to heaven. Denying yourself, taking up your cross will lead you to heaven. So many people hate the word deny yourself. So many people don't want to give up their sin. So many people don't want to deny their carnal desires, their fleshly desires. But you need to deny your desires. You need to deny your selfish ambitions. You need to die to yourself. You need to die to yourself so that you can live a new so that you can live a new life that is given to God, so that you can give your life as a living sacrifice to God. Oh, it's time for you bikers to repent. Stop idolizing your bikes. Your bike is not your God. I know you like being uh, cool. I know you like your image, but you need to repent from your bikes. Your bike has become your idol. Time to worship Jesus. It's time to get excited about Jesus instead of getting excited over our bikes. Oh, Mohammed is burning in hell. He's a pedophile. It's time to seek Jesus, the true Jesus of the Bible. It's time to Jesus found in the Quran. It's time for people to get serious about God. It's time to read the Bible and obey it instead of just quoting verses. So many people like to call, I can do all things through Christ. That doesn't mean you can sin. It doesn't mean you can live a life of sin. Oh, it's time to get right with Jesus. Life is short. Death is sure. Judgment day is approaching. Where will you spend eternity? Heaven or hell? Do you not know that the unrighteous will not enter the kingdom of God? Neither fornicators, neither idolaters, neither adulterers, neither homosexuals, neither atheists, neither thieves, neither liars, neither cowards will enter the kingdom of God. If you're ashamed of Jesus, Jesus will be ashamed of you on the day of judgment. If you deny Jesus in the sight of man, Jesus will deny you on the day of judgment. Your sin is going to lead you to hell. What is it going to take for you to forsake your sin, for you to forsake your drunkenness? Oh, so many people like to get drunk and numb and high and stupid. You're being distracted from the truth. 
from the spiritual reality. There's a spiritual warfare. Demons are after your life. There's a battle for your soul. There's a battle for your soul. Oh, what is it going to be? Light or darkness? What is it going to be? Jesus or Satan? Oh, are you going to give yourself over to the, to the devil? Are you going to give yourself over to sin? Or are you going to seek Jesus and be saved from the wrath that is to come? It's time to repent. It's time to get serious about Jesus and no longer live in fornication. Uh, let go of the pornography. Let go of the adulterous lifestyle, your drunkenness, your conceitedness. Oh, forsake uh, your uh, uh, living for entertainment, living for comfort, living for this world. This world is perishing and everything in it. One second after you die, it's not going to matter how many, how many times you got drunk. One second after you die, it's not going to matter how much money you had in your bank account. The only thing that's going to matter is what you did for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's time to humble yourself before Him. It's time to serve Him before it is too late. The time for the kingdom of heaven is approaching. Fornicators, weed smokers, idolaters, rest assured, your place is in hell! 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 You must turn to the living God, Jesus Christ, Amen. who died for your sins on the cross and rose back to life on the third day. But if you reject him, rest assured, your place is in hell!